And this life, it's not a work week. It's not a nine to five. The question is, what can I get done by five o'clock? It's what do I do next? Dallas Seedy turned 25 on March 4th and marked that date in a way that very few people will ever do. CV celebrated his birthday on the Iditarod, the grueling sled dog race across hundreds of miles from Anchorage to Nome and finished more than nine days later as the youngest ever to win the thing. It's not simple. It's multi-tiered. There's so many layers that you'll never master it. A lot of people envision that you have you know, 16 dogs and that's it. I've got 100 dogs here and the effort that goes into lining a team up at the starting line of the Iditarod is unseen, unrealized. This is our life, 365. This is what we do. We train a team and training starts when the puppy's one day old. It's not like a car, you get to jump in it, turn the key, you get to work, you turn it off, you leave it. You know, you've got to take care of these dogs every single day so that when you do want to go somewhere, you have the connection, you have the knowledge, you know how to fix the problems, you know how to see what they see. I watched my dad try and fail 10 years in a row trying to win the Iditarod. And we kind of started to idolize people that had won it and almost felt like the people that have won this race are somehow superhuman. They're not normal. And then when my dad did finally win the race on his 11th attempt, I was 16 years old and that definitely left a mark of, holy crap, these people are human. You bust your ass every single day and you keep figuring out how to improve yourself. You can do pretty much anything. When you have that team at the starting line of the Iditarod, the years that have gone into producing this team, developing each individual athlete, putting that dog in a position where they can thrive in this environment, that's the art of mushing. You have to be feeling, you can't become callous. You have to feel every bit of pain along the way and be cognizant of that and still just keep on plugging. When it's the final hours of the race and you haven't slept in seven days, you start to see who you are. But in the last five or 10 years of racing seriously, I've been able to see what it's done for my life, being connected to the natural side of the world. We get in a world where we're so busy and we're so interdependent that we start to feel out of control. We no longer have control of so many aspects of our life. And I think that's where having that grounded aspect, whether it's going for a day hike or traveling with sled dogs a thousand miles across Alaska, just being a little more connected. And I think that helps us cope with our day-to-day -day lives a little bit better.